as our data centre began to grow and we started to virtualise, we realised that we needed a better solution for cooling. We talked to APC and they said, hey look, you know, we've got this new technology coming out in the market called hot oil containment and that will allow you to do high density. So we are able to support in our data centre up to 30 kilowatts a rack and that's pretty amazing. Our room will be running at about 1.2 to 1.5 megawatts worth of load, which is just fantastic. We first met Maxnet probably going back about two to three years ago. And like many organisations at the time, they were facing the new wave of technology coming into the data centre space. And it was necessary for them to start to think about how the data centre was going to go on the journey for the next 10 years. So what we were finding out there in the marketplace was people were saying, I'd like to bring my blade servers into a co-located data centre. And the organisation was saying, stop, you can't bring them here. We have a maximum three kilowatt of rack density. So rather than run away from that, Maxnet engaged us and we sat down in a dialogue to talk about how we could produce a platform that would enable them to handle that next wave of technology. We really needed a room neutral design that wasn't going to upset you know, some of the tape libraries we had, some of the switches that couldn't cope with having a room heat up. Now, we looked at hot oil containment, we looked at cold oil containment, and realised that hot oil containment was the only way that we were going to be able to achieve this in the data centre. With the hot oil containment, we were able to raise our chilled water temperature. Now, I mean, this for us meant that we could get between four to 6,000 hours a year of free cooling. And, I mean, that directly translates into about a million dollars a year in terms of power saving once the facility is full. With our green design, even on a hot day, we should be achieving a PUE of 1.5 and once the free cooling kicks in completely we should be achieving a PUE of 1.2 because we're really only running a couple of pumps and some fans to actually cool the entire facility. One of the great pieces of kit that uh, APC brought out is the 277 kilowatt PDU. Uh, traditionally as in a data centre you'd have a um, switchboard on the wall and every time you wanted to add or change something you'd be paying for an electrician to come in. Now I mean obviously you'd have to book the electrician, it delays everything. Um, with the 277 kilowatt PDU any one of my engineers can just go down there, plug a whip in and you know it's really flexible. We can get 16 amp, 32 amp and the other great thing is it's got built-in monitoring. We could do an end-to-end -end solutions design so through the um, ISX Central we were able to basically take right from our UPS down to the customer's um, PDU level and actually see what a customer was using and we were able to compare that to the amount of calling we were putting into the facility to make sure that we were closely matching those. We can grow as, as the demand increases so by matching that calling load to the demand it's uh, much more cost effective for us. From a customer engagement point of view it's been one of those projects that we've really enjoyed working on. There's been a lot of open dialogue. We've worked very closely together on the design. What we've, we've achieved together as an outcome for the data center has been much better than what we would have achieved if we had tried to sort of go it alone. Through our partnership with APC, Maxnet has built what we believe to be New Zealand's premier tier three plus high density, high availability, blade friendly environment. What this means for our customers is they can trust the environment they are in will support them for a long time to come.